Hi, welcome back to my channel, Earth Song. I'm Kelly. Today we're going to do a tarot spread for Leo. Um, before we get started, I want to give my deepest thanks and gratitude to everyone that's donated. I appreciate you so much. And if you like what I'm doing with tarot readings and the teaching um, on the videos that are on my channel, please subscribe. That's a free, easy way to help uh, promote the channel and keep it going. Like these videos, share them far and wide. Let's get the word out to everyone about how to truly uh, free their self and take the shackles off. All right. And if you haven't yet, please check out my other videos on my channel. There's uh, plenty of informative stuff already there, and we're just getting started. Okay, now, um, I've channeled Spirit for you already, and, um, all right, let's just talk a minute, okay? Let's just talk. Uh, I think you've been going through some stuff, and we're not going to, we're not going to stay in the past. We're not going to live in the past, I, and I'm actually talking immediate past, recent past, um, perhaps, you know, earlier today past, yesterday past, just last week. It's been something very recent that you're um, struggling with. There's some kind of stress or struggle going on with you. And um, Spirit wants you to know that um, even though you have to protect what you've created and be prepared, um, to not ask, uh, not forget to ask your guides and your angels for help, uh, for signs, whatever it is that you need so that you can make the right decisions about stuff. And, um, that right now you're really setting in a insightful and logical, uh, frame of mind and perspective. Um, and you do have clarity for the most part, but, um, <laughs> basically, um, spirit was really emphasizing that you need to make up your mind about something, um, kind of a shit or get off the pot sort of thing, really, um, but there is a lot of, uh, good things coming in for you, there's, uh, a lot of abundance, um, wishes coming true, dreams becoming reality. This is a very magical time for you. I think you're just uh, probably caught up in the what ifs. You know, what if I make this decision and it's not right? Or what if something else? And that you just need to quit doubting yourself, listen to your intuition. Really trust what your intuition is telling you because you are um, very grounded in logic and intuition right now at this moment. You're very balanced. And um, I feel like that that's because you've been seeking um, higher guidance already. Maybe you've been praying more. Maybe you're learning to be more spiritual and connect with spirit on a, a constant basis for yourself. Um, whatever uh, pathway you're taking, um, you're doing well. And, uh, you know, you're managing pretty responsibly. You're uh, managing your resources. You're protecting your things that you've worked hard for uh, really well. And there's more blessings coming in for you. Um, Spirit just wants me to remind you to stay vigilant for that. And... Um, Look at the long-term goal, even though you're not seeing anything happen maybe immediately. Look at your long-term, plan for the long-term, and um, trust that it's going to all turn out really good for you. Uh, but again, I mean, the voice just said to me again, but you have to be clear in your decisions. You have to make clear decisions. So uh, whatever it is that you're stuck on, and maybe we'll find that out in the hero reading and I can help you with it but whatever it is that you're stuck on right now spirit is saying to uh, make a clear and decisive decision about it and to um, 
get the illusion of entrapment out of your mind that you're not actually as stuck or as trapped in some kind of situation as you feel like you are and that you have the uh, tools, the strength, and the ability to uh, move forward the way that you need to move forward. Whatever's going to bring you your happiness and your peace and your joy and your sanity and whatever it is, you know. So we're going to start with um, some Earth Elemental cards to kind of get a feel of your overall uh, vibration. And you got cards jumping all over the place. Okay, so you've got the Leo card, Sunshine. So you're feeling radiant. But there's also some volatility in you over something. Something's agitating you. So movement needs to be made. You're needing movement. And to get your clarity on that movement and what that decision should be, it's saying to look inward and trust that. That's your vision quest. So look within because you already have the answers. And um, maybe this is something karmic that's going on, like within your uh, your family or your friendships or your uh, romantic relationships. I don't know why I couldn't get that word out of my mouth. Um, so maybe there's something karmic going on to where um, you have to make a clear decision about cutting ties with someone once and for all or something. I don't know. But um, all I know is that Spirit said shit or get off the pot. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do the tarot now. These cards have a lot of energy for you. You've got the Queen of Swords. Yeah, she's that lady that ain't afraid to stand up to nobody, right? She, she takes her foot off her bitch and says, nope, no more. Nobody's going to give me no bullshit. Ain't no drama going to happen. I'm done with all this. She's standing firm on her ground, and she's like, try me, buddy. Just try me. And then next, you have the King of Wands, which is also another very strong energy, but this is more of an energy of um, co-creating, in my opinion. I feel like, see, he's, if that's like a magic wand he holds. See how the light coming out of the top of that wand? To me, that feels like uh, energy and manifestation happening. So, um, you already know what you want to manifest. All you have to do is go with it and make it happen. And maybe there's been someone uh, being deceptive, uh, cheating, stealing, lying to you in some way, shape, or form. And, um, or maybe this is you. Maybe you've been lying, cheating, or stealing from someone else. My goodness, I hope not. But, um, this has popped in in the middle here, so uh, this situation is going on, whether it's you or some other person, and maybe that's what you need to make a decision about and in some karmic cycle uh, with is that, you know, you can't have people in your life anymore um, that are going to do you that way. You know, you've got to cut ties with them, regardless of what kind of karma a uh, karmic tie you may have to them. And then you have the temperance card. And, um, of course, temperance is like divine intervention. So I do feel like this is some kind of karmic debt being paid, some kind of uh, karmic release, because that's your angels being with you and guiding you and protecting you, uh, helping to get you out of some kind of a bad situation, negative situation, or... Um, you know, I guess if it's, if it's you that is the one that's been deceptive to someone else in some way, shape, or form, uh, this is your angel guides trying to steer you back to the right path, you know, help you get back on track because uh, you are a very strong creator and uh, a, be a very beautiful soul. So if you have slipped into some uh, negative pattern, you know, this is spirit trying to work with you and help you to move forward. But I really, I don't feel like that's your energy, honestly. Uh, not for most of you, anyway. I don't, I just don't think it is. 
and um, yeah, you're the high priestess. You you know uh, how to create. You understand what it is that you need in your life to bring you joy, and you are in a position now to create that, to manifest that into your life, and um, you're protecting all of what you've earned and collected and uh, worked for in this in this card in this energy and, and the position that it fell in i feel like uh this is just reinforcement of what spirit showed me in the channeling where something is going okay and maybe that's got something to do with this thief card here right someone who's been um lying cheating or stealing from you and you have all the stuff that you worked so hard for and you'll you'll be damned right you're that queen of swords energy you will be damned if somebody's going to come along and take your stuff or ruin something for you because you've worked really hard for your stuff and regardless of what kind of personal ties you have to them or karmic tie you're just not going to let this happen and so i think spirit is trying to tell you that your debt is paid in full you know and there's a lot of that happening lately there's a lot of uh concluding of karmic debt for all of the zodiac signs for um, all sorts of situations and relationships uh there's we're, we're finally getting to a close of that karmic debt cycle thank god Thank the universe, thank the angels, thank the stars, thank it all. Be grateful for that. I know I sure am. I'm sick of it myself. <laughs> I'm tired. I am just tired. I'm just ready for happiness and joy, right? Like everybody else. And look, you've got your own card here. Oh, I guess I'll hold it up some more. The Leo card of strength. That's beautiful. You're standing in your own strength. But you're mourning something that has to come to an end. And you know that it has to come to an end. But you've got these two other cups back here. See, these three are spilled. There's blood on the ground. That's some kind of karmic debt thing. That's a karmic relationship, this blood spilled. This is some kind of deep love for someone, deep gratitude, uh, something beholden whatever but you've got these other two cups back here you've still got cups that are full you have to remind yourself of that um and perhaps you do know because you see he's, he's kind of looking at them even though he's facing these that are spilled he's sort of got his head turned down toward these where he knows that there is better stuff out there um abundance for him or her uh but it doesn't make this hurt any less, right? It doesn't make this any less sad. But you've definitely been the one carrying all the weight on something. You've been taking on a lot of burdens um, for someone else or for something else. And um, now you're in that Page of Wands energy where you're ready to charge forth with this youthful exuberance and be like, no, nah, I got this. I don't have to do this anymore. I don't have to be in this type of energy anymore. Yeah, and on the bottom of the deck, you've got the queen of, or excuse me, the nine of pentacles, which is abundance and blessings for you um, for clear decisions on how to find your happiness. And uh, maybe even some true love coming in for you here. You've got some, some kind of offering coming to you and I love how the uh, lion is even up there in the angel the lion energy is in the angel wings up there so maybe this is um, just specifically for you Leo to um, tell you that spirit is watching out for you and that you do deserve love and that it is coming for you and hold on hold on it's coming for you baby Hang in there. All right, let's get some of these little tea cards and see what they got going on. <clears throat> see if we can get some clarity for you here. I'm 
Okay, you've got the door is opening and opportunities are waiting for you. And then uh, for some of you, there are dealings or relationship with a man of a dark complexion or a very dark hair, a dark skinned person or a dark haired person. Okay, this one says you have lighthearted and carefree times ahead. And that you've experienced or are getting ready to experience a time of great personal sorrow. I think that's that karmic release. Um, yeah, because there's obstacles to overcome. And there's someone... Uh, Someone maybe is going to gossip about your secrets or something. I don't know what that's about. Just beware, I guess, of what you're telling people because maybe someone's going to uh, be talking about you. Hmm. Involvement with the law. either going to be receiving or giving a precious gift soon possibly by November because you got the November card um, you know what as far as this law card goes that's something that I wasn't uh, I didn't remember to mention to you uh, when I was doing the channel part of the message uh, spirit had shown me some type of paperwork or something and wanted you to be um, careful in what you're signing, what you're agreeing to, uh, know, know what you're getting into before you agree to it kind of stuff. So maybe that's got something to do with that law card and, and it popped out to help me remember to tell you. Sorry about that. But um, this one says, this is the grasshopper card. And it says situations in the balance that require careful handling. So again, I think that goes back to um, make a clear, decisive decision. You know, the should or get off the pot thing. Um, some, some kind of decision has to be made and soon. Um, okay, so now I want to which one do I want to do? I want to do these uh, Star Child Oracle cards for you and pull one of those. So I was told to get three, so we're going to go for three cards. So rest assured that your dreams and visions are going to come to fruition. <clears throat> Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. And to surrender. Surrender your need to control the outcome. Just be with life in this present moment. So yeah, I think whatever you're stressing over that you need to decide on, you need to just make a clear decision that Whatever it is, it needs to be done and over and just let the universe do the rest. You know, um, once you make up your mind about something and you're not stressing over it, it's amazing how quickly the universe will listen to that and answer it and just start moving obstacles out of your way. So just trust that. And always remember to ask your guides and your angels and God, you know, to help give you some clear guidance and some signs. Okay, and speaking of signs, I don't know if you could see those. This one says to pay attention 
to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay? So pay attention to the red flags. Whatever that means to you. I think that you will definitely understand that. Um, oh, nice. Very nice. So maybe this was some other kind of energy. Maybe the pay attention to the red flags is um, that karmic relationship that you need to be getting rid of, letting go of. But um, you have your soulmate coming in. And there's going to be a lot of playfulness and a lot of passion. Sounds exciting. All right. So that's good news. Now let's pull a 111 card. If you're not familiar with my 111 cards, there are 111 cards in this deck. They were all channeled by me through with spirit. And I simply just started writing on the cards. I wasn't counting. I had no idea how many cards I had made until I was finished and I counted them all and there was 111 and I said, well, that's what I need to name them, the 111 cards. But it's all um, a, a whole hodgepodge of great inspiration. You deserve love. You. You, Leo. You deserve love. Are you ready to open your heart and trust it? Are you ready to believe that you really could have true love? I saw a card flip upside down here. I want to see what this one is. In the middle of the deck. Oh, well, several of them here. Okay. All right. The act of writing or speaking is a spell that is cast. Vibration and thought are key. Remain focused, not overwhelmed, and one step at a time. Okay? Then the next one is choose love. And the next one is to be grateful. And the more you're grateful for, the more beautiful, magical things will start presenting themselves to you. And the last card that fell out says for you to ascend, plug into source and assist. Assist in your creation. Assist in others' creation. Plug in. Trust it. You've already come a long way. I mean, in the past few readings I've been doing for you, Leo, you all are really coming into your own um, in spirituality. You're really finding your center, and that's really just fantastic. All right, now we've got a rune stone, last but not least. And this rune is disruption. Change, freedom, invention, and liberation are all attributes of this rune. Drawing it indicates a pressing need within the psyche to break free from constricting identification with mater material reality and to experience the world of archetypical mind. The rune of elemental disruption of events that seem to be totally beyond your control. And yet it always operate. Hold on. I think I skipped a sentence. Let me start again. The rune of elemental disruption of events that seem to be totally beyond your control. Hagalaz, that's the name of the rune, 
has only an upright position and yet it always operates through reversals. When you draw this rune, expect disruption, for it is the Great Awakener. Although the form of the awakening takes the form that the awakening takes may vary, perhaps you will experience a gradual feeling of coming to your senses, as though you are emerging from a deep sleep. Then again, the onset of power may be such as to rip away the fabric of what you previously knew as your reality, your security, or your understanding of yourself, your work, or a relationship, or beliefs. Disruption takes many forms. A relationship fails, plans go awry, a source of supply dries up, but you do not be but do not be dismayed. Whether you created the disruption or whether it comes from an outside source, you are not without power in the situation. Your inner strength, the will you have funded until now in your life, provides you the support and the guidance at a time when everything you've taken for granted is being challenged. Another of the cycle runes, the term Radical discontinuity best describes the action of this rune at its most forceful. The more severe the disruption in your life, the more significant and timely the requirements for your growth. The universe and your own soul are demanding that you do indeed grow. And again, I, like I was just saying, you guys have really gotten a foothold into your own growth, coming into your own power, um, getting rid of the old and in with the new, you know, releasing your pain, releasing the baggage, whatever it is. You've done so much shadow work, so much inner work lately. And uh, perhaps for some of you, there's still work to be done and that's okay. Uh, you know, spirit, God is just simply saying to you to hang in there that you're going to make it. Um, it's necessary. Change sometimes is painful, um, but, you know, to, to just go with it, try to go with that flow and embrace the notion that something needs to change, okay? So, until next week, I will bid you adieu. I hope that this resonated with you. I hope that um, you will like and subscribe and share the videos. And please check out my channel. Uh, if you want a personal reading or any kind of guidance or advice on a one-on-one -on -one basis, feel free to email me at earthsong747 at gmail.com. That will be in the link in the description below. Uh, there's a donate button on the header of my channel page if you would like to donate to the channel. Uh, I do personal readings by donation only because I am here on a mission to help you to regain and reclaim your power. And so just because I have the knowledge doesn't mean that it should be charged for. Um, knowledge is power and knowledge should be free. I'm a firm believer in that. Um, of course, I'm always grateful if you would like to donate to the channel to help keep this going and help me to continue to spread the message, but it is not expected of you and I will never charge you for anything. Um, so until next week, be well, be blessed in love and light.